Good evening and welcome back once again. So in the last match we had a really convincing 5-0 win away. Back at home now against Ibar. Let's see how we can get on. So made a few changes. Kovacevic were brought in after he was suspended. Give Omarajic a bit of a rest. We've also brought in Bajer for Carlos Perez, even though Carlos Perez had a magnificent match in the last one. Just want to switch things up a bit. We have got a few games coming, coming thick and fast. And we're going to keep posting because he's on and up. The goalkeeper that had his debut in the last match, the youngster. Just going to keep moving for one more match and then we'll probably go back to Schubert. Back at home at La Rosa Ladder. Just to let you know, we have actually made an offer for a player found a, a midfielder that's uh, a free agent in the summer so we don't have to pay a transfer free transfer fee if it goes through centre midfielder I'll show you some more information about him later depending obviously if that goes through or not remember that we sold Hitch at the end of the last uh, video he'll still play for the remainder of the season because the transfer window is not open yet so we kind of do need someone um, to step in his place Today we've got Herrera playing in that role with Arcas um, playing in the sort of more advanced role. Nice play there from Bajer and Vieira. Oh, just wide. But some good signs already. Nice little one-two from... Uh, Pierre and Bajer. Nice effort. But yeah, I just hope it'd be good to get a, another centre midfield or defensive midfielder in. We're going to need it um, after selling Hitch, but also just the amount of games and rotation we're going to need next year and we're going to need an increase in quality and that's a poor pass um, and the play I'm going for like I say I'll show you him later on if we do get him it will certainly improve the squad um, and at the moment it would certainly be an improvement on Hitch anyway Back to this match. That was a bit of a uh, took most of the player out as well. He did get the ball, but and I would have loved to have been able to have a look at some more sort of free agents, but we've just very limited on salary budget, so there's not really much we can do. Nice ball in there. Zerxes nearly got ahead of the defender. Here's Bajer. Zerxes. Nice play from Mudrik. Oh, deflect Zerxes. Keeper again. What's going on? It's chaos. But uh, somehow the goalkeeper and the defence keep it out. And the young goalkeeper made a really good save in the last match, kept a clean sheet. It's not a great pass for Bajer, but he wins it back. And again, he gets taken out. He, he, keep the keeper. Defender does get the ball, but uh, I'm not sure you can take someone out like that. Kavazovic back in after a few games out as well. Um, Yeah, uh, I just ran it too far. Well, I say he was Kavazovic was out for a few games. He was there. Uh, he got sent off for more match, um, and then he was suspended. Obviously, oh, how don't we score Xerxes? Oh, wide. Really nice effort though. Acrobatic finish. And in terms of replacements, I'm just trying to prioritise where do we think suits best. Um, 
and I certainly think midfield is the way to go for now that centre midfield sort of area Teixeira just a bit too far Herrera easily blocked there There were another Kosh though. Mujic wins it back. Poor pass from Cher though. It's a bit of a pinball going on at the moment. Oh, nicely into Xerxes, but what is the keeper and the defender doing? <laughs> It's a strange game, this one. Very strange. Here's Bajer. Oh, lovely finish with his right. Lovely, lovely finish. So Fierro into Bajer. Lovely first touch and slams it in the top corner. Yeah, nice little ball. First touch was the key. And really nice finish. Not long before half time, that's a good breakthrough. Yeah, five or six minutes left. It was a bit of a strange one. We were dominating, the ball was pinballing around, and no matter what we did, the keeper seemed to find a way to keep it out. Mudrik. Oh, it's a post. And again, I don't know what they're doing. They're making some strange decisions at the back. And they have been getting away with it until that goal. Yeah, and they just kicked straight off. Probably the better thing to do. They'll probably just want to get in at half time. Oh, lovely touch from Herrera. And deflects straight into the keeper's arms. Here's Mudrik. Now Takshara. And the keeper's got that. That'll be half time as soon as he launches the ball. And there it is. Comfortable first half, but um, like I say, a bit of a strange one. But you can see from the, not just the possession, but the passing, the shots, absolutely dominating. But I've said it many times, you know. It doesn't matter how the opposition plays. When there's only one goal in it, anything can happen. Ah, Xerxes, so rightly so, did pull back a bit from his run. Um, but it was just around about the same time I was going to pass. We drink with a bit of space here. I didn't, uh, didn't mean to shoot there. Nicely played. Bit of space for Mudrik. Not really in anyone helping though. Yeah, needed that support. I don't know what's going on with my defenders this time. Chance for a counter attack here though. Mudrik with acres of space. Vieira. Good block. They managed to get it back with Bouget. Now Arcas. Ah, oh, straight at the keeper. Decent effort. At least the defender didn't block it this time. Which is what normally happens. Poor ball out to uh, Mudrick there. 
That's a strange tackle. Not much space to work with. Costner you know, was not quite sure what he was doing there, but just boot it off the pitch. We're going to make some changes. We're going to bring on Castledean for Bajer. Carlos Perez we're going to put up top in place of Xerxes. He has played there a few times. And Harrington on for Vieira. Just to give those legs a bit of a rest. We have got a match here and I think it's about three days time. But yeah, somehow it's still 1-0. And... Got to be careful. Oh, good save from the youngster again. Oh, that was terrible defending. That was just me. I should have just booted it. And what did I just say? Oh, sloppy defending. Really good save. And that's a shame that he's letting it go because that's just terrible. Maybe a little bit unlucky. Try to clear it and it's hit against my own player. <laughs> yeah. It's been an odd game. It really has. Oh, a lovely ball through from Carlos Perez. Oh, side netting. It was on his weaker right foot there. Castle Dean probably could have cut inside. Do you know, every time I played Carlos Perez up top, he's looked very, very dangerous. Because you can get into those... Sometimes drop a little bit deeper and get into those central areas and play some nice passes. Um, bit of a different role for him. Again, Mudrik with a guess of space. Mudrik. Oh! Ho, ho. Lovely effort. Don't want to get caught in the counter-attack, though. No, we're fine. That's poor, though. That's better from Herrera. And then Mudrik. Mudrik again. Oh, Nelly gets in Carlos Perez. Well, again, I'm not sure what's going on. There's people falling over all over the place. Costing with the acrobatics. But a chance here now. Back to Mudrik. Mudrik, what a finish. He is some player. I'd say the wing positions are potentially our strongest area now that I've got Mudrik. You know, when Carlos, Pe when Carlos Perez is playing on the right, Mudrik on the left, you know, they're cutting inside and doing those shots or playing the ball across. Yeah, when they're on form, they're unstoppable. And Bajer is pretty good on the right, you know, when Carlos Perez isn't there. Um, Arcas used to do us a job on the left before Mudrik came in. Not as great as uh, what they are now, but Arcas is certainly more suited to a little bit more of a central role. That could be one area that would look at maybe a youngster that was a almost like an out and out winger. Nice play there for Marcas. Somehow kept the ball. Oh, good tackle. It was just uh, doing a little trick to cut inside. And that was well timed. Otherwise, that could have been a penalty. Castledean, Perez. Castledean's just not strong or quick enough. Playing it uh, dangerous, dangerously across the box. Podcast oh, back on it. Oh, that's a poor ball, but Mudrik somehow gets it. 
Hunton. Perez. Oh, did he get fouled there? I thought he got a shirt pull back. And that'll be a throw in. One last chance at attack, maybe. Nice ball there. Ah, that's poor. But that'll be it. Cut it close. You were letting that equaliser, and it took a fantastic goal from Mudrick to win the match. I mean, looking at the stats, we were all over that team, but it was just a it was a weird game. That first half, we should have been three or four nil up. The defending was well, strange to say the least, and got away with a few things. The keeper dug them out of trouble a few times, and then we let in a, a sloppy goal after our keeper made a really good save. Bit of a mix up at the back, and that could have gotten the point. But I think we did deserve the win. But on another day, that could have been um, yeah, two points dropped. Mudrik man of the match. Without doubt, he was. Bajer played well. Subs did pretty well when they came on as well. Carlos Perez looked really strong up front. And again, the youngster, the goalkeeper, Shimi didn't get a clean sheet, but he played well when he when he was needed. And some very, very good news. The youngster, Cusance, who I put in a bid for, well, not a bid, actually, directly negotiating with him. He's um, out of contract in the summer, so no transfer fee to play. We offered quite a low annual salary of 531000 and he's actually accepted it. Just looking at his stats, 76 centre midfielder, he can play attacking or defensive midfielder too, so that suits with our team with those three that we've got in the centre at the moment. 76 is very similar to what Herrera and Vieira already at. He's only 22 years old, some nice orange stats there, a lot of orange stats which is good. Physical contact is probably one that I want to improve. But yeah, looks like a really good player and look at all those skills he's got already. His actual development sheet looks a bit flat at the moment, but he's a youngster, he will improve. He's got a real face as well, I know you can't see it on here. Actually, I'll tell you what, we'll have a quick look. So yeah, just looking at him here, he's got a real face. It takes me a little bit out of it when you, when you look at a player and he's got that generic Pez sort of player face. But yeah, really happy to get him exactly where those three will sit in that sort of three we've got in the centre midfield. I'm not really sure. I'm thinking of Herrera maybe dropping to defensive mid where he can play. Cousins at centre mid and Vieira at attack mid. Now, he won't join up until the summer, so we're not getting him yet. Got that bid in for Hedge and we've sold him. And now we've got this youngster in Cousins who I think is going to be a massive improvement for our team. And just having a look at the stats for February now that we've rolled into March... Five matches, five wins, let in a couple of goals, which we didn't let any in in January. Right in the middle there, the 3 0 home win against Real Madrid in the quarter final of the Copa del Rey. That's uh, definitely the outstanding part of the month so far. Carlos Perez is top of goal ranking, assist, and the average rating. Absolutely brilliant. Mudrik was unbelievable when he joined in January and, and just blitzed the month. But he's, he's carried up that streak, maybe not as much of a pace as he did in January. But he's such a good player. That front three we've got now is just fantastic. But join us next time. We're away again. We've got a few matches coming thick and fast. So there's going to be some tired legs out there in the next few matches. Really looking forward to seeing how we'll get on towards the end of the season. We've got that cup match coming up. I think it might be in April or towards the end of March. Uh, yeah, yeah, the end of March. I'm not really sure. But thank you very much for joining once again. Please leave a like. Drop a comment down below if you can. Subscribe if you want to keep up to date with the channel, but I'll see you all next time. Cheers.